Dr. Jim <laughs> Ashton here with us answering your coronavirus questions. Let's start with the first. Is it unusual, Doc, for three different effective vaccines to be approved and released around the same time? Well, yes, it is unusual historically in the world of science and vaccine development. This is unprecedented. We've never seen global collaboration of this magnitude, and we've never seen from the clinical trials and manufacturing occur at the same time rather than in series. So a lot of time has been saved. Safety and efficacy has not cut corners because that stuff cannot be shortened. And right now there are at least four vaccine developers in phase three clinical trials that are U.S. companies, at least 10 worldwide. So we will hear more. Which right. is good news. Well, we have more questions about okay. the vaccine. This next one, how should we determine which vaccine to get? Oh. So many people asking this question. Here's what I think is going to come down to in reality, because, again, we don't have a lot of information yet about the rollout. States will be working on that with some assistance from the federal government. But largely, it will be determined by what vaccine is available for you, mm -hmm. for you, where you live, what group you're in. Uh, I don't think... Initially, we'll be able to say, well, I want the Moderna vaccine or I want the Pfizer vaccine. It'll be which one ships to your area because, again, access is going to be the name of the game in the initial stages of this rollout. One more here having to do with kids. Will children be the last people to receive vaccine? At this point, largely, it looks like they are in the last group. And I've been in touch with the FDA about this, asking about when the clinical trials for younger children will begin. They are talking about that right now. Once the vaccine makers get emergency use authorization from the FDA, then they will set their plans in place to enroll children of all ages in their clinical trials. Largely, that will be starting in the beginning of 2021 because some of these vaccine developers only study down to age 16, some down to age 12. They need to enroll children down right. to months of age. So that will be happening early next year. All right. Dr. Ashton, thank you. Folks, yeah. you can continue to submit your questions to Dr. Jen on our Instagram at Dr. J. Ashton. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.